Good evening, everybody. Hello, Jessica. Hello, eh, Jose. Let me see, Catherine, Joanna, Jennifer. Hi. Hello. Good to see you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hope you are okay, and I hope that you are ready to start a new a new class. Okay. Um. Yesterday we were like working a lot about some information related to the alphabet, the numbers, and the verb to be. So, and tonight we are just going to continue, right? To continue with the process of learning a second language. I hope you are okay, and I hope that you are willing to learn or to continue learning English. Okay. Hi, evening. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. Yeah, that's right. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good hello, hello. Good evening. And let us wait a little that's bit good. because I can see that there are some people who are trying to get into the class, okay? Let us wait a little bit. Uh, well, yesterday we were also talking about the numbers, right? So now we know the numbers in English, at least from one to 10. <laughs> yes or no? Did you practice the ABC? Did you practice the, um, the numbers? Did you practice the verb to be? Yes. Uh, you practiced? Yes, yes I practiced. Yes. Uh, Pretty good. Okay, so numbers in English. How do you say zero in English? Zero. Zero, right? And when and when giving a uh, phone phone numbers? Oh. oh. Oh, right? So that's important to remember. Oh. Okay. So well, yesterday we talked about how to give um or to provide phone numbers in English. We're gonna we're going to try to um, complete all the sequence, right? I know that you have been working in the platform. Have you been working in the platform? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, right. So you, you have been working in the platform. Okay, so these are the topic we have been studying, right? Such as what's, what's your name? My name is... My, your, his, her, the alphabet, uh, the birth to be, and the last one we studied was about phone numbers. Okay, remember about it? About this video? Uh huh. So we were like practicing yesterday night, right? So try now, we're gonna go over one exercise that's a listening, okay, where you are going to provide some phone numbers. David Medina's phone number, for example, you are going to provide Sarah's phone number, Steven's phone number, Nicole Johnson's phone number, Jennifer's uh, phone number, and Michael's phone number. All right, so we're gonna go over this, this exercise, and then we are going to start with a new topic. Leo says uh, tonight, I will be as a listener. Okay, Leo, Leo. Okay, here we go. Now, are you ready to start? Yes. Ready. Yes, yes. Right, more yes. than ready, right? More than ready. ready. Let me see. We're going to practice. Uh huh. Pay attention. Listen and complete the list. What's David Medina's phone number, Michael? It's 212-555-1937. 212-555-1937? Yes, that's it. OK, Sarah Connor. What's her phone number? Hmm, Pick a one, Sarah. Sarah. Her number is 347-555-7645. 
seven six four five. Steven. That's right. Now let's see. Stephen Carson. His phone number is two o one five 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 three six four eight. Right? Yes, that's right. Two o one five 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 three six four eight. Okay. And Nicole Johnson's number? Oh, Nicole is my roommate. Our number is six four six five 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 three eight o six. Uh, Michael Otis. So right? Nicole's phone number uh, is six four six five 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 three eight o six, and your number is six four six five 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 three eight o six. That's Jennifer. It's the right? same number. Right. Same number. Hey, what's your phone number, Michael? Michael. Michael. It's seven one eight five 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 nine nine six o. Okay, great. All right. Now, did you take notes? Do me the favor to type David Medina phone number. Type it in the chat, please. It's two one two five five one nine three seven. Okay, type it in the chat. Type it in the chat, please. Okay, thank you, Joanna. Thank you, uh, Jennifer. Okay, let me see. Tell me if it is correct, right? So two, one, two, five, 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 one, nine, three, seven. Is that good? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Leslie, remember, good evening, good evening. Okay, that's David's Medina's phone number. What about Sarah's number? Sarah's. Sarah's. Uh huh. What's Sarah's phone number? Can you say it? What's Sarah's corner phone number? Three four seven five 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 seven six forty five. Is that is that the one? Yes or no, people. Three. What what is Sarah's phone number? Can you can you repeat, please? Three four seven five 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 seven six four five. Okay, now yes. Now what about Stephen Carson? Stephen. Two o one five 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 three six four eight. Oh, thank you. Now two o one five 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 three six four eight. How about Nicole's? How about Nicole? Six four six five 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 three eight oh six. That's Nicole. Yes. Okay, so. So Nicole says this one, according to what you say, 646-555-3A06. And Jennifer Miller's? The same number of Nicole. It's the same. Okay. And what about Michael? 718-555-9960. Can you type it in the chat? Thank you, Marcela. And in Jorge, so this is the one you say, right? 71E555-9960. Okay, so we're gonna check. Mm -hmm. 71E555-99 and 60, pretty good. Number five. 
646 555 3806. Good. Nicole is the same, right? Steven 201 555 3648. Good. Sarah 347 555 7645. Good. And David Medinas 212 555 1937. Good. Excellent. Excellent job. Okay. So yesterday we finished with this topic, and I can see that uh, you learned numbers quite well from 1 to 10. And I hope that you continue like practicing the numbers in the page I shared yesterday night. Tonight, we're going to start talking about some objects, right? Some objects, and in order to see, uh, in order to start um, enriching vocabulary and basic, it is quite important for you to learn a lot of vocabulary, right? So then we are going to start by using some vocabulary that's very common. For example, what's in your bag? What is this, people? What is it? Book. Yeah, what's in your bag? It's an address book. What is this? Uh, a hairbrush. A hairbrush. What is this? Hairbrush. A wallet. A wallet. What are these? Sunglasses. Sunglasses. What is this? A CD player. A CD player. What is this? A cell phone. A cell phone. A cell phone. And what about this? A camera. It's a camera, right? Camera. Now, if you see the question is what's in your bag? Do we usually have the things in our bags? Well, let us see the information. A CD player. Give me a second, please. Okay, now yes. Uh, 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 uh. Problems with it? Don't worry. We're going to try to solve them. Okay, now yes. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with common objects, which people have in their bags. We will listen to a quick audio, and you should listen and repeat. An address book. A hairbrush. A wallet. Sunglasses. A CD player. A camera. Keys. A cell phone. All right, so very, very, uh, Basic vocabulary, this is a uh, quite quite good in order to start and to identify certain certain um sounds that we have in English. Uh how do you pronounce this? Book. Book. Uh -huh. uh, an address book. An address book. An address an book. Address book. Uh, what about this one? A hairbrush. A hairbrush. A hairbrush. That's a hairbrush. What about this? A wallet. A wallet. A wallet. A wallet. A wallet. A wallet. What about this one? Sunglasses. 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 To the player. A city player. A cell phone. That's a cell phone. Keys. 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 Camera. 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 A wallet. A wallet. A wallet. Sunglasses. 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 
a city player, a city player, a, city player. a, city player. a cell phone, a cell phone, a cell phone, keys, keys, a camera, 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 face, a camera. Yeah, now listen. This word, no. you need to be careful with this word and also with this word, right? Keys. Keys. Uh huh. So you see? Keys. This one sounds with an S. Keys. Keys. And this one sounds with a Z. Keys. 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 And also, uh, the sound of this one is a little bit longer. They say keys, 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 keys. All right, so you need to be careful with it. Okay, so now we have this vocabulary. I have some more vocabulary that I would appreciate. You can see it. Remember, recuérdense de cerrar micrófonos si no lo están utilizando para que no interfiera con, con la clase, ¿ok? Uh, now, listen, I have this, well, sorry. Okay, have some more objects on here in order to to get more a uh, vocabulary, right? A uh, vocabulary such as we we have some school supplies, okay. School supplies such as uh backpack. These are school supplies, right? Listen. Backpack. 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 Okay. Backpack. What else do we have? Books. 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 What else do we have? Calculator. Books. Calculator. 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 UK rubber. Eraser. That's the eraser or it's a rubber. Eraser. Rubber. Eraser. 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 We have. Blue. Folder. 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 Glue. 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 Notebook. 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 Paper. Notebook. Paper. 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 Pencil. Pencil. This is the pencil case. Pencil case. This is a sharpener. Pencil sharpener. There are also some materials, some materials that's important for you to material for you to for you to learn. Aluminum. 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 Listen first, listen first and you repeat. Leather. 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 Listen first and you repeat. Listen, listen carefully. Primero oímos, okay, y luego lo, lo repetimos, okay? 
Porque algunas veces nos podemos, nos podemos confundir. Si decimos leader, no. Oigan la pronunciación. Leather. As leather. Right? Leather. Leather. Entonces, leather. primero escuchemos. Ajá, ok. Listen to... Okay, to... Listen to... The some observations are there. Primero dejemos, Primero dejemos que se oiga y ya luego, pues, practicamos. Ok, okay. so. Metal. 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 Plastic. 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 Metal. Plastic. Rubber. 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 Wood. Wood. Rubber. Wood. Wood. And steel. 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 Steel, right? Steel. So we have yeah. well we have some more some more vocabulary that I consider it important steel. for you to for you to put into practice, such as transportation, airplane, bicycle, boat, bus, cable car, a car, ferry, motorcycle, a scooter, a train, if that's from track nervy, UK. So well. I share I share the link so that you can start uh, like increasing your vocabulary. Okay, so that is not the point, yes. the exact point, just right now. But we're gonna see something that's coming about this and that, this, this. Okay, so uh, I will I will tell you this uh, as a piece of advice, and that is that. Cuando estamos en básico es importante ir aprendiendo palabras, ¿ok? Pero aprenderlas de la manera correcta. No por lo menos eh, confundirnos y, y decir, por ejemplo, cámara, no, que, que, so, it's camera, right? Ok, so hay que aprenderlas y hay que aprenderlas de la Gmail. manera correcta, ¿ok? So, here we go, listen, we're gonna study about this, this, It mm. and they. Yeah. And later we're gonna see about the, the demonstrative adjectives because it is not only it is not only about this and this, but it's about it's also about that and those. So pay attention to the first part of the video and then we're gonna um, see some extra information. Okay. Okay. After you complete your work, hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll become familiar with this and these. Before I start explaining this topic, we're going to listen to a quick audio which illustrates how this topic is. We're going to listen and we're going to repeat. Let's listen and repeat. Wow, what's this? Okay, what did you listen to in the first part? Wow, wow. what this? Wow, what is this? Okay. Wow, what is Why is it important, is right? So if it says, if you have an S over here, apostrophe and S, they say, what's this? 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 Okay, so let's continue. Oh, what is? It's a what's camera. This? Uh, it's a what? <clears throat> it's a camera. It's, uh -huh. a it's a camera. 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 Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. What do you listen to? Oh, cool. cool. It's cool. cool. It's great. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. Uh huh. So, oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's Great. It's great. It's great. It's great. Great. It's great. All right. It's great. You're welcome. 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 Open this box. You're welcome. You're welcome. Open this box. Open this box. Now open this box. No, open this box. Now open this box. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, okay. what are uh, these? Okay. What are these? Okay. What are these? What are these? Oh, what are these? What are these? Listen. What are these? They're earrings. They're earrings. They're earrings. 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 Okay, listen to the next part. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. Uh huh. Very nice. Oh, they're. Oh, they're interesting. Very nice. 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 Very Okay, I will ask two people to, to say the conversation. Okay. Let's listen to Henry Escobar and Roxana. Roxana Godoy. Okay. Henry. Henry and Roxana. This. Wow, what is this? What? It's a camera. It's oh, a cool. Camera. Thank you. Steven, it's great. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now open, now this, open box. this box. That's... Okay. Oh, what are these? Where, where, Ear what are these? The earrings. Oh, they're interns. All right, do you finish? Well, oh, they are interesting. Thank you, Rex. They are uh, very nice. They are very nice. Now, if you have a, as I told you before, right? So if you see an apostrophe in an S, I, uh, you have to, pr to pronounce it. Well, what's this? What's this? Uh, it's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's, it's, it's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Oh, uh, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. Now I will try with with uh, another uh, with two people more. Okay. So Jorge Jose. Uh, okay, Jorge Argueta. Jorge Argueta and Jennifer Flores. Go ahead. They're interesting. Ah, uh, tell me, Jose. Eh, ¿Por qué se ocupa their earrings en, en la conversación? Se supone que their earrings es un objeto y they es para ellos. All Pero right. estamos hablando de un objeto. Ok, thank for asking. Ok. So remember that if we have earrings, earrings can be singular. And it can be plural, right? So earring, only one, is that right? And we have earrings, plural, right? So if you say one, it is, it, it is an earring, only one, right? It is an earring, only one. But when you have two, when you have two or more, then you say they, they are. are earrings. Okay? Pero no en ese caso tendría que ser there. No, I mean, it's because this is for, for objects or for people. Okay. Plural. For objects or for people. Okay. Is that clear, Jose? Yes, yes. Okay, so Jose, do me the favor to read Jose and I said somebody else, but I forgot it. Jose and Joanna, let's try with Joanna. Jose and Joanna. Jose, you start. Wow, wow. what is this? 
it's a camera. Oh, good. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Oh, what are these? They are earrings. Oh, they are interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. Good. All right, so we're gonna see a little bit more about the video, okay, so that we can get a general idea about the topic we're studying. And later we'll provide some extra information, as I said before. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. In order to understand the concept of Look. this and these, I would like to start by explaining the following. Number one, you're going to use this, that spell out T, H I S whenever you're talking about one object which is near you. Number two, you're going to use these that spell out T H E S E whenever you're talking about two or more objects which are near you. On a different class, I'll explain how to use that and those. So as you can see on the screen, there is a camera. And therefore, whenever we talk about one object, we're going to say, this, this is a camera. This is a camera. If we want to ask a question about a particular object which is near to us, we will ask in the following way. What's this? It's an earring. On the other hand, on the screen you also see two cameras and therefore whenever you refer to two or more objects which are near from you you will say these are cameras notice that the article a from the previous example disappears because we're no longer talking about one object but instead two or more if we want to ask a question about two or more objects which are near to us, we will ask in the following way. What are these? Their earrings or their cameras, for example, right? For our practice exercise, I would like for you to look at the image and practice. And look at the image. Okay, so what is the first question, people? Jorge, do you have any question? Yo tengo una pregunta. Uh, Jose. La, la respuesta es, en ese caso, la pregunta es, ocupa this, this o this. Y la respuesta uh, siempre es hacer con un, con un eh, verbo. O sea, te pregunta, what, are, what, what is this? La respuesta sería, they are earrings. Okay, yes, that's right. It all depends because over here you have what are these? But this is because we how many keys do we have? One, two, and three keys, right? So that's why we use these. What are these? They're keys. Now, but how many CD players do you see? One. Only one. So that's why you say, what's this? O sea, lo, mi pregunta es, o sea, la, la pregunta siempre va a ser con este, con this o this. Uh -huh. Y la respuesta uh -huh. siempre va a ser con una, con una, con un verbo, con un to be. Yes, that's right, because you, you are asked with the verb to be over here. So, what are these? They are. So, what is, what is this? It's a city player. The verb to be is over there. Oh, okay. Okay, very good. Now, uh, what about this one? What is the question for this? What is a backpack? Uh -huh. what, what is the question? Uh, what, what are these? Are these? Uh, and the answer? Are they backpacks? They are backpacks. They are, they are backpacks. Now, what about this one? What is the question? What is, what is this? What, it what is. is this or what, what is this? this? Uh -huh. What is this? Answer? 
It is a watch. It's, it's a watch. watch. It's, it's a watch. Clock. It's a watch. watch. What about this one? What is this? What is this? What is this? Okay, so but it's a cell phone. what's this, right? It's what's this? What is this? this? What's this? this? What is this? It's a cell phone. No. It's a cell phone. What about sunglasses? It's a cell phone. What? What is this? What? 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 One and two. What? What is this? What are these? What are these? What are these? Because we have two. What are these? What are these? And what the answer? There is sunglasses. They are. They are sunglasses. Pretty good. They are sunglasses. All right. So sunglasses. In order to see some extra information, we're gonna go over some some um to a link. I already shared the link with you, so you have access to the information as well. Uh, we're going to go over it a little bit quickly because I want you to create something, uh, a conversation, okay? And I want you to create a conversation. Well, these are the possessive adjectives, people. Uh, I mean, the demonstrative adjectives. This, that, these, this. and those, okay? Those. So look at the meaning. This, this. that, that, is. Mm -hmm. and those. those okay so as you can see over here we have this vase is this. very expensive this mm. plural these shoes mm. are all mm. plural that boy, mm. boy. Is my cousin that those toys oh. are dirty those we have Hi, Mary. This is my boyfriend, Ron. This. Hello, Miss. Uh, these are my parents. This. Hello. Is that Sarah? No, Hi. it's her mother. Okay. Is that so? But this is when you are using your cell phone, all right? So if we have more examples. This apple is mine. I like that hot. These are original. Uh, that is not mine. Okay, so you have you will have there is there is also an, an exercise over so here. Este ejercicio lo van a completar como tarea. Okay, ahí tienen los enlaces en el grupo. Okay, okay. este es tarea, lo copian de la ya resuelto. Okay, ya sea en un documento Word o en uh, En un cuaderno, de, en, de manera física, ¿ok? Now, listen, vamos a hacer algo eh, nuevo, ¿ok? No hemos trabajado en grupos, esta noche lo vamos a hacer. ¿Cuál es el objetivo? Primero, que interactúen entre ustedes, se empiecen a conocer más y que, le, que el grupo se vaya consolidando. Segundo, que creen una conversación utilizando todos los temas O la mayoría que hemos venido estudiando, como, hey, what's your name? What's your last name? How do you spell your last name? Um, uh, the alphabet, the number, hey, what's your phone number? Etc. Y ahora le podemos incluir this and that. Ok. Uh, this, this, that, and those. Ok. Eso tiene que estar en la conversación. Vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres con, con un objetivo. No los pongo en pareja porque algunas veces eh, hay alguien que tiene algún problema técnico y se queda pues nada más uno trabajando. Entonces no vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres para realizar esa, una sola conversación, ¿ok? Una sola conversación. Eh, van a tener que 5, 10, 15 minutos para realizar esa conversación y empezar a practicarla, ¿ok? ¿Estamos listos? Pueden hacer uso del internet, de, los te de la plataforma, como ustedes prefieran, pero recuérdense que el objetivo es... Uh, el objetivo es crear una conversación. 
Okay. Ready? Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Vamos ready. con los grupos. Eh, aprovechen el tiempo. Ya dije 15 minutos. Ok, van a ser 15 minutos exactos. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, do you have any problem? No problems? No, no problem. Uh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. very good. Remember to take advantage of the time, okay? Okay. Jorge, uh, how do you spell your... And you? Um... Very, very nice. Very nice. Um, what is your last name? Esto eh, yo le preguntaría, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. what, what is... Oh, ya me voy a llamar. <laughs> it's seven one uh, five four six four four four. Okay, thank you. Um is the um how you number ¿Cómo preguntarle cuál es su número? Eh, what is your cell phone number? What is? Uh -huh. What Where is number nine? Number What is number nine? Así. No, se le va a preguntar What is your cell phone number? Y ahí le van a tener que responder. Uh -huh. Your cell number. Hi, what is your name? Hi, <laughs> what is your name? Eh, y después usted me dice, my name is su nombre, ¿verdad? Y me dice usted, Ian Yu, o, o what is your name? como que me pregunta ¿va? nuevo y ahí le contesto yo y ahí how are you y usted me dice I am fine I am you como una conversación fluida ¿Sí? 
Hi. Hoy sí, hoy sí, hoy sí, perdón. Bye. Hi, Karen, nice to meet you. My name is Jorge, Jose Argueta. What is... Pongamos el número que se inventaron. 5, 5, 5, 7, 1, 0, 6. Bye. 7, 8, 5, 5, 5. Ajá. 3, 8, 0, 6. Bye. Ese es el que voy a decir yo. Ya, baby. Ah. Quiero ver, este, <risa> eh, para, ¿cómo es? Uh... Espera. ¿Estamos? ¿Otra vez? Yo inicio y la saludo. Hi, my name is Carolina. Uh, yes, am I? Yeah, my, um, are you starting? In... What? Okay. What? Um, are you studying English? Yes. I study English. I study English. Yes, I study English. Uh -huh. Yes, I study No sé cómo se escribe beautiful. Así, así como lo he dejado, solamente la, haga el intercambio de la E y la A al el principio. ¿Aquí? Ajá, es B, A. Así. Yo creo que sí lleva la doble L, ¿verdad? Tenemos tres minutos, dice. Y yo... Ahí lleva su nombre. Eh... Ah, sí. Eh, ¿Cómo le puedo decir? La Eh, what, eh, what, is, what, what is your what is your phone FH no es PH ajá number Eh, y ahí se me lo dice. Oh, ok. Eh, gente. Y de ahí terminamos, creo yo. Y de ahí solamente, solamente agregamos el nice to meet you. Ah, el oh. this, el this nos faltó, pero bueno, ah. si dejemos. ¿Y cuál? Eh, dígame su nombre, su... 7-4. Eh, 7-4. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. 8-6. 8-6. 5-9-8-2. 5982. Sí. Y, Ajá, nos faltó el disco. Eh, no, pero no sé cómo ponerlo ya. Oh, Permítame un segundo, quiero ver. Thank <laughs> you. 
No se me ocurre nada. Hola. No se, no se me ocurre nada. Le... Permítame, estoy buscando una, una oración. El teacher nos va a ayudar, yo creo que ya entró. Ya tenemos solo... Bueno, de ahí... Eh, it's, it's... Bueno, yo creo que nos vamos a quedar ahí. ¿Cómo se dice? It's a pleasure. Eh, ¿Cómo es un placer? Bueno. It, no. it, it, apóstrofo eh, S, A. It's a... It's a pleasure, así como se... Así. Quiero ver, sí, y le pone el signo de admiración. En esta compu me cuesta. Ay, no sé dónde está. Así. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. How was the activity? <laughs> uh, that was really good. Very good. Okay, so I hope that you have enjoyed it. And well, since it was the first time you were like interacting, I think it was yeah. quite fantastic, right? Como les dije, el, el, la intención es de que se vayan conociendo poco a poco, vayan interactuando, vayan viendo esto de los tiempos, porque recuérdense que tenemos solo 60 minutos. Cuando yo digo a trabajar en grupo, o sea, sus mentecitas deben de estar 100% concentrados en lo que se les ha pedido que hagan, ¿ok? Practicar, okay. buscar en la, en la okay. web... Eh, tener algún diccionario a la mano, un diccionario digital, o sea, funciona un traductor o algo, pues la cuestión es cumplir con, eh, con lo que se les ha asignado, ¿verdad? Eh, no se preocupen que esta noche no lo van a decir, ¿ok? No, no, no se preocupen, pero el día viernes sí, vamos a comenzar con eso, ¿ok? Vamos okay. a empezar con, con las conversaciones y les recomiendo que practiquen mucho porque en esos niveles de básico lo que se requiere, bueno, en todos los niveles siempre vamos a, a requerir de práctica, práctica, práctica y más práctica, ¿ok? Porque, por ejemplo, ahora vimos dos palabras que se, se asimilan mucho que son kiss en kiss. Entonces, un sonido en inglés puede cambiar el significado. O si no utilizamos la gramática de manera correcta, entonces el mensaje queda entrecortado. Jorge, Jorge José. Un poco complicado también el this y el this. O... Es un poco complicado. Eh, ¿Cómo sería la pronunciación exacta? This en this. Uno es, si usted se fija, la pronunciación es, es igual a excepción de cuando yo digo plural, this hago el sonido un poquito más largo. ¿Ok? Esa es la diferencia. This es solo uno. This, sí se nota la diferencia, ¿ok? This, 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 this. ¿Ok? Pero debemos de acostumbrarnos a, a esos sonidos, o sea, a identificar qué es lo que nos están diciendo y para eso necesitamos mucha práctica. Y otra cosa que les recomiendo es estar siempre en contacto con el idioma inglés, siempre. O sea, una canción, una historia, um, a lo mejor si alguien escucha algún predicador en inglés lo puede hacer. La cuestión es que aunque no comprendan todo lo que se, lo que se les está presentando en su momento, que se, se familiaricen con los sonidos, o sea, no queremos que usted ya lo entienda todo al 100%, sino más bien que se familiarice con el idioma, ¿ok? Profe, yo he estado ahorita eh, buscando 
la letra de una canción, por lo menos una que me encanta, que te los piden, que es si has visto la lluvia caer. Uh -huh. He estado poniendo la español y voy a la par y voy escribiendo y llorar y el español, el inglés primero. Y así voy durante toda la canción y la vuelvo a escribir y la vuelvo. No sé si eso estaría bien que me ayude a... Voy viendo cómo se escribe, cómo se pronuncia. Lo sí. voy deteniendo, lo voy retrasando. Las estrategias que ustedes tomen son las indicadas porque ustedes se conocen a ustedes mismos, ¿verdad? Más que a nadie. Entonces usted dice, esto me funciona, a lo mejor esto no. Eh, a lo mejor este enlace sí me funcionó o este quizás no. O sea, cada quien va haciendo como sus propias estrategias. A alguien le puede gustar la música, a otro le puede gustar leer, a otro. La cuestión es de que siempre estén eh, estudiando inglés, aunque sea que, que le dedique unos 15 minutos diarios, eh, estaría perfecto para comenzar. Ahora vimos vocabulario y la verdad que el aprender un segundo idioma es algo que no se termina. En realidad... Eh, ustedes empiezan un camino muy hermoso que es aprender un segundo idioma y que en su momento ustedes van a ir viendo todos los beneficios que esto trae. Eh, Roxana. Sí, teacher, tengo una duda con respecto a la tarea de link. Que yo, eh, yo entendí que se podía, eh, lo podemos imprimir en, en físico. O, ¿Y a dónde lo vamos a enviar? No, eh, lo pueden trabajar de manera digital. Okay. Pueden trabajar un documento Word o si ustedes tienen un cuernito ahí a la par que lo están llevando de manera física, lo pueden hacer ahí también. Entonces esto es más personal, no es, que, no es que lo tenemos que enviar. No me lo van a enviar, sino más bien yo en la clase yo voy a ir verificando quiénes han hecho la, la tarea o no. Eh, no. Espero que todos lo, lo logren cumplir porque este, son pasos que hay que ir dando todos como equipo, como grupo, ¿ok? No es que, ah, bueno, dejo esa tarea y pues no, se, se van a ir dando cuenta que el que no hace tarea se va a ir quedando atrás. O sea, y eso es lo que no queremos. Ok, gracias, teacher. Ok. Perdón, recuerdo. teacher, eh, como la, así como la doctora pregunta, yo me metí ahora a la página y traté la manera de responder todo lo que hicimos ayer y luego eh, creo que se le pone visto o siguiente. Me imagino que con lo de ahora se podría hacer lo mismo también para que vayamos avanzando, ¿verdad? Sí, cl sí claro. Es la Marisa. forma de cómo avanzar. Recuérdense que, bueno, yo los trabajo siempre en dos vías. Una es la plataforma, que esa es sumamente importante, que ustedes van dando esos pasitos. Si ustedes se dan cuenta, son ejercicios que no, que no son muy difíciles y en, algunos son muy cortos, pero de, de poco a poquito, pues vamos a ir aprendiendo. Lo otro es que yo siempre, casi siempre, dejo tareas. ¿okay? Yo, por ejemplo, dejé tareas en los enlaces, en un enlace en específico con these, that, these, and those. ¿Ok? Entonces, hay que estudiar y hay que completar el ejercicio. Uh, ese ejercicio, como les decía, lo pueden trabajar en un documento Word o en físico, como ustedes prefieran. ¿Por qué? Porque en su momento yo les voy a decir, bueno, fulano de tal, este, ¿cómo le quedó la tarea del día de ayer? Y ya esa persona o esas personas nos lo van a compartir. ¿Any other question? ¿Preguntas? La de ahora, entonces, sería eh, que lo busquemos, luego lo, lo, lo enviamos. Yo lo, sí, así como usted dice, es uh -huh. decir, como cada quien quiera trabajar, yo lo que hago es que lo, lo llevo en un cuaderno aparte y allí voy. Excelente. Y ahorita de la clase voy captando lo que pueda y luego estoy aprendiendo en la página porque no, no, como okay. uno no está muy acostumbrado, va uno abriendo no, poco a poco la es, plataforma. ¿eh? Es un proceso. Recuérdense, no se preocupen si no entienden todo el 100%. Yo se los dije al inicio, ok, ahorita estamos familiarizándonos con el idioma, ok. Pero mientras más contacto tengamos con el idioma, mejor. Leslie. Una consulta, la tarea, ¿dónde la subió? La tarea, está, los enlaces están en el grupo de WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Ahí encuentran los enlaces. Leslie. 
I have, I have one question. Question, Tisha. Excellent. Okay, good. There be class tomorrow? No, there we are not gonna have any class tomorrow. We're gonna have classes until Friday. Hasta el viernes, okay. Leslie. Don't worry. Tomorrow, take it easy. Okay, okay. Juliana or Juliana. Sí, eh, teacher, una consulta. Eh, en WhatsApp hay un grupo donde estamos todos, eh, donde están todos eh, agregados. O no, porque, bueno, yo a mí no me han agregado a ningún grupo. No. Estoy, tengo un número ahí de WhatsApp, pero no están así como, no han enviado los links que menciona usted. Bueno, regáleme su número en el, en el, en el chat, por favor, para, para ver por qué no ha sido agregada. Vaya, de hecho, yo también tengo ese mismo problema, eh, teacher que no estoy agregada y cuando el link que me mandaron para agregar a ah, WhatsApp me saca del, del, del link ah, este, fíjese Leslie que ahora me comunicaron algo que creo que usted está registrada pero en otro grupo ay no entonces este permítame por aquí me enviaron algo porque yo lo notifiqué pero este comuníquese con aquí está con Nicole no sí con Nicole comuníquese okay. con ella por favor okay ajá sí acá me escribió entonces comuníquese con ella y justamente es por eso que no no tiene acceso usted al grupo de WhatsApp okay Thanks. Ok, you're welcome. Eh, Juliana me lo comparó. Ok, lo mismo haré que en su caso, Juliana. Voy sí, a notificarlo gracias. y vamos a verificar qué es lo que sucede, ok. Está bien, teacher. Gracias. Ok, um, no more questions, no más preguntas. Nos quedamos hasta acá y nos vemos el día viernes, ok. Good night, okay. people. Good night. Good, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you Friday. See you Friday. Good night. Good night.